Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Strike three fishing back at you. Man, I've just it's been a couple weeks since I've had a video out, but as many of you know I got Mark Twain Lake fishing intel now, and uh, that keeps me busy. It's a pretty much a 24-7 job, but I love it. We're plugging away, we're getting a lot of good information out there on the website. So if you haven't checked it out, Mark Twain Lake Fishing Intel.com, check it out, become a member, get all the exclusive interviews, uh, tips and tricks, and all that good stuff. So Today, Mark Twain Lake, September 27th, beautiful bluebird uh, sky. It's about, you know, 65 degrees, hardly no wind, can't beat it. So uh, we're going to go out and see if we can catch some fall crappie. We're going to hit some brush piles with some minnows, laydowns. Uh, they've been, you know, pretty much laying there on the bottom for the last three or four weeks. So uh today we might even try some plastics i haven't used plastics in at least uh three or four weeks so uh we might just get it out and test the waters on that too so stay with us and uh we'll see you at our first spot We just pulled up to our first area. I was at this spot a couple days ago. Ended up stumbling across these fish. I was fishing a brush pile about 15, 20 yards away from this area. And uh, I was actually leaving and I had my live scope on and I was scanning around as I was trolling out of here and found this 20 foot span of crappie laying on the bottom. And ended up catching a couple, three decent eaters out of it and a few small ones. But we're gonna hit it again today and uh, see if we can get some bigger ones out of it. First things first, we're gonna, we're gonna try the plastic today uh, first. I've got minnows, but this is a 16th ounce uh, Thumper Shad Head and a Wild Willies OCD plastic, the old beaver tail. Looks like a monkey milk color, so let's see what happens. I've got uh, six pound test uh, monofilament on this rod. This is a seven six uh, spinning rod from uh, Edgar Rods. This is pretty much my corking rod, but we're only fishing about 10 foot deep and uh, so I'm going to drop this down have some fun with a little uh, shorter rod today for a little bit so let's see if they bite me. Well there's one on plastic but he's not very big. He ate it. I didn't even feel the bite. He was just sitting there on the bottom and lifted up and there it is. Let's go see if we can get us another one. Well, they're not biting the plastic very good, so uh, we're gonna go to the straight minnow again. Just a small fish right there. There's a bunch down there, but we just got to see if we can find some bigger ones. A little better fish right there. That's an eater. We might take a few home for the skillet. Nice 10 inch fish right there. Another fat eater right there. Mark Twain Lake Fall Crappie. Just a good solid 10 inch fish right there. Better crappie right there. Man, it's a nice fall Mark Twain Lake crappie. He come up off the bottom and just smoked that minnow. There you go, beautiful fish right there. He 
probably won't make the cut. He's kind of little. We won't put him in. Nice little fish. smaller one we'll throw him back nice little crappie though there's one. a nice little eater right there you know, I was catching a few of them small ones and then uh, finally got a, just a decent eater another 10 incher Nice fat fish. I guess number four. There he is. A fat nine and a half inch here probably. It's a fat one. Fat fish right there. We'll put him in the box, get us a nice little mess today. There's one. A little better one there. Nice crappie right there. That fish was. Right under that lay down, he come right up there and smoked it. So, didn't feel him thump it. I just saw him come up, and then he started to swim back down. I lifted up, and he was on there. I didn't, I didn't feel him hit it or nothing. So, they're really not hitting it too, too good today. I've only had two or three good thumps, and the rest of them, I've been watching them on the screen come up and suck the minnow in, and then I, then I set the hook on them. So, another nice one. Another little one. He thumped it. This fish thumped it. He thought he was a little bigger than he is, but he thumped it like they're supposed to, but he needs to grow a couple more years. Well, we're gonna make a move. Uh, these fish have pretty much they're sporadic anyway. I think I've got maybe six or seven in the box. I'll have to count them, but uh, we're gonna check out uh, another brush pile and uh, see if we can put a few more in the box. It's about 12.30 now, been out a couple hours. Um, been kind of slow, but I mean, they're biting, but there's just a lot more smaller ones biting for me today. But, uh, you know, we got a few decent ones in there. 10, 10 and a half inches. So. Anyway, let's go to the next brush pile and see what we can get done. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I got six in the box. Uh, it wasn't on fire for me today. Been out about three and a half hours. I'm gonna go to the house and uh, put the boat up, clean it up a little bit, and I'm gonna head to the deer woods tonight. I got a good northwest wind for a stand I wanna hunt, and there's uh, been a decent buck coming in, and I wanna see if he's gonna pop out tonight. So uh, anyway, today's equipment, same old, same old, 10-foot Edgar rod, medium heavy. Got the Arden 1000 finesse reel, 15-pound sniping braid. Got the uh, number two eagle claw hook. I think that's an eagle claw today. And then I got the egg sinker up above it. So throwing the minnows. Uh, I think I caught one small one on a plastic. I just can't get them to buy plastic right now. So we'll stay with the minnows. Hope everybody enjoyed it. We'll see everybody on the next one.